If you've never seen South Park, well, you're just not a real person. What's going on, YouTube? It's Winnerly Knox Hill, and listen, it is our weekend time. Those of you who have had a long week, who have been enjoying our step into comedy, checking out Family Guy, well, you've been highly, highly requesting that I dive into the world of South Park. So grab the popcorn, boys and girls, grab your fluffy unicorn pillows, and here we go. It's time for South Park. One. If it's not dangerous, then eat that pure concentrated gluten, okay? Oh god. What? Oh, you see that? His dick's flying off. I mean, that is just scientifically proven to be factual. If you have too much gluten, you lose your penis. Oh, you see that? His dick's flying off. Well, what am I supposed to do? Anything that'll impress us, Token. If you were our friend, how would you keep us entertained? Uh. Oh, I know. Very nice. I like it. Eric, you need to understand- <laughs> Token gone wild. Ah, you are being punished, all right? I'm just gonna get down as soon as you move. Well then, I'll just have to stand right here! <laughs> oh! He spit in my mouth! Yeah, it's best to avoid his level. Something went wrong, and the turkeys broke free. And the worst part is, they're really pissed off. Naturally! Oh, do go on. We have to stop them or, or they could destroy everything. Time is short. You were saying? They act just like normal turkeys, except they're evil. Oh, my. <laughs> Somehow I don't think you're taking me seriously. Now, why would you say that? Oh, I do believe I found it first. What? <laughs> I'm just sat trying to process... Like, what the hell that is to his left? Is that like a little garden gnome? I don't think you're taking me seriously. Now, why would you say that? Oh, I do believe I found it first. And Thanksgiving was never the same again. I don't think you're taking me seriously. Now, why would you say that? Oh, I do believe I found it first. No, I did, Pip. Oh, dear. Well, I guess we'll have to Rochambeau for it. What do you mean? Well, first I kick you in the nuts as hard as I can, then you kick me in the nuts as hard as you can, and we keep going back and forth until somebody falls. The last one standing gets the arrowhead. Oh. It's never how I played Rochambeau. My life has been forever altered. I well, I suppose if I must. Okay, ready? I'll go first. <laughs> well? Well what? You know who I am, don't you? Well, you ain't Fiona Apple, and if you ain't Fiona Apple, I don't give a rat's ass. Ah! Who? What a bitch! I'm just a little girl, oh, <laughs> a dainty little thing, and I know you all want to be a little white girl like me, Shamona. No, no, that was too far. Too far. Ah! What are the What are the judges? No. <laughs> Fuck no. When you thought that maybe, maybe there was a boundary somewhere, no. This is South Park, ladies and gentlemen. No boundary cannot be crossed. Every oh well. Children's pageants will never be the same again. I will never enter my daughters into a childhood beauty pageant. Dude, oh the two God. male judges love her. Ugh. All right, that's about enough. Aw, oh, crap. Hey, what the F? Oi, Krofflowski. Do you have a cool trick? Yeah, for my cool, cool trick, I'm going to tame food for strange. Tame my what? I can tame food for strange, bro. Uh... Getting All that strange? Right. Let's see our friend Ike tame Fufa's train. Ike, no stop! Oh, I see. You're actually. Wait! Oh my God! What are you doing? No, no, no! What are you doing to Fufa? No! If anyone thinks they're gonna be well, he tame that bitch. Get me inside that mouth, 
and keep me from getting my kids' Christmas presents. They can kiss my fat vagina, cause I'm bringing the motherfucking pain. <laughs> Who, me? Just in time for the holidays, it's stop oh, touching no. me, Elmo. <laughs> when you press his back, Elmo puts his hand on your knee and says fun things. Have you ever been tickled on the inside? <laughs> I'm lonely, are you lonely? Can I watch you go potty? <laughs> You want to kiss the guy who does Elmo's voice? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I remember when like there used to be that Black Friday rush, right? Like that one Christmas present that every single child wanted that they could never have. And that's why they wanted it. It's like the prime energy drink takes over effect, right? Because everybody else wants it. You got to have it. Fucking tickle me Elmo. Wow. Hey, watch you go potty. Oh my god. You want to kiss the guy who does Elmo's voice? Stop. Thank god I never got one of those. Me, Elmo. Elmo also helps kids brush their teeth with his toothpaste dispenser. <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> Don't miss out on this holiday season's biggest gift. Stop touching me, Elmo. <laughs> no. My name is Stop. No. I can't. I, I can't release this video. And I have diabetes. Terminal I have terminal diabetes. Oh. Board games are the only thing that gives me relief from the physical and mental anguish I experience every day. Wow, Scott, I didn't know it was that bad. Neither did I. Dice does is my only shot at happiness. Please don't let outdated school policies destroy it. Wow, thank you, Scott. Diabetes, everyone. And you guys just get out there and put a positive spin on this whole thing. How are we supposed to put a positive spin on it? It's getting pretty hard to keep defending you. Maybe it's time we put our foot down. Oh. Hope you brought some condoms. Speaker Ryan, it's the anniversary of the president being elected. Well, no greater uh, position than the POTUS. You know what I'm saying? Karma suits for that, people. Condoms. <laughs> Speaker Ryan, it's the anniversary of the president being elected. How do you think oh, he's no. doing? Well, what do you mean? He's great. We're doing great. A lot of people judge him and just see the negative. People don't know how great the president can be behind closed doors. They don't get to see all his good qualities. Uh-huh. And is that semen on your black eye? Oh, no, I, I tripped on a doorknob. That's just, that's doorknob cum. You know, your dad and I used to be best. Again, there is no barrier we will not cross. Pedophilia, we dealt with that. Politics, we put a new spin on that. Well, South Park, 2024. No, I, I tripped on a doorknob. That's just, that's doorknob cum. You know, your dad and I used to be best friends when we were teenagers. We even worked together at Pizza Shack. But he got promoted, went off to community college, and I didn't. And you know why? Because your dad's Jewish. <laughs> I heard that. That ain't why, Sturt. It's because... Kanye would be so happy with this. You are an alcoholic retard, and he had dreams of not eating frozen waffles for dinner every night. Hey, is it my fault you don't know how to cook? What am I supposed to do with frozen waffles, clam head? You put them in the toaster, you cook them. You just don't know how to use spices and stuff. Last year, I took a sandwich that the priest of this church had been eating. Oh, well, I'm sure he would forgive you if he knew. No, but I... We're not doing Catholic priest jokes, are we? Not finished yet. I took a sandwich that the priest was eating, took the piece of ham out of it, put it between my butt cheeks, and then put the sandwich back and watched him eat it. I see. Yeah, and then this other time, I went pee pee in the holy water thing, and the priest blessed himself on the forehead with it every day for about a week. And then this one time, I was at the park, and the priest was out walking his dog, and I went number two on the sidewalk, and then told Officer Bob Brady that it was a priest's dog, and so the priest got fined like $100 for not cleaning it up. And then this one time, I put super glue all over the priest's bottle. Uh, uh, ah! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> if you smoke, you could grow up to be a failure. Oh, the uh, respected holiness of confession. <laughs> If you, if you smoke, smoke you, you could grow, grow up to be a, a failure. failure. Worse yet! What does that say? Butt out. Oh. Cigarette butt. Put it out. Yep. That is... That's great. There's no sexual innuendos going on there, people. You could grow up to be dead! So, so don't, don't believe what those evil tobacco, tobacco companies, companies tell you. Tell you. Yeah, yeah, because, because if you don't, you don't smoke, smoke, you can grow up to be just like us! And sink is back out of my nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me another one. Give me another one. <laughs> oh, dude, this is really hard. <coughs> oh, man, sorry to bother you, but there's been an accident down the street, man. I mean, I love the uh, the the trolling of obviously we all know smoking is it's 
good for your health. But uh, <laughs> the uh, the tobacco commercials, especially back in the day, man, like they were just so corny about not smoking. Don't give in to peer pressure. Smoking isn't cool. And just the, the whole approach of it really did almost make you go, well, fuck those nerds. I'm going to go have a fucking cigarette now. So... <laughs> <laughs> Here, give me another one. Give me another one. Oh, dude, this is really hard. <coughs> I'm just watching my channel plummet. Oh, man, sorry to bother you, but there's been an accident down the street, man. Can I use your telephone? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but I don't let strangers in. Yo, I understand, man, but this accident is real bad, dog. My lady's legs is all busted up and shit. She's crawling around on the road looking like a crippled crab, man. I just need an ambulance, dog. I guess technically it's not blackface. It's... Hand face? There's a gas station about half a mile down the road. They have a phone there. Okay, I see. I guess I understand. You just don't want to let a black man in your house. Okay. No, please, it isn't that at all. No, I get it, man. Thought things would change, though. Thought when we got a black president, things would be different. We got the black president, but why they still don't trust me? Use his mother phone. No, wait, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. We do have a black president. Please come in. Okay. All right, Mr. Situation, we'll try this again. Why are you people doing this? But I told you, it's just... Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot about the Jersey Shore days. God, I just wanted to gouge my eyes out. MTV. What happened to music television? Mr. Situation, we'll try this again. Why are you people doing this? But I told you, it's just a Jersey thing. What does that mean? You just don't understand. It's, a, it's just a Jersey thing. Stop playing stupid! Maybe he really is- Violence isn't good, kids. Unless it happens to the Jersey Shore. And it's okay. Stupid, Randy. Nobody's this stupid! What are you people planning? It's just a Jersey thing, you know? You, you just gotta be from Jersey to get it. Oh, uh, wow. 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 Jesus, dude. Holy moly, what's that between the lady's legs? It's all bushy. Please just study the picture the best you can, students. I'll then ask you a question, which you'll answer on the paper provided. My sex ed class was not like this. i never seen that part of a lady. Do they all got a hedge like that? Do they? Okay, very good. Now, what color was the handkerchief in the nice lady's hand? <laughs> Write down your answer, please. What color was the handkerchief in the nice lady's hand? Do you see the bush on that lady? What the heck was that? Very good. Turn your answers over, please. Gee whiz, it was like almost up to her belly button. Bad, bad monkey. Eric, what the heck are you doing? I'm asserting myself. It's tough love. Just like my Mitchell Kitty. When he's bad, I say, that's a bad Mitchell Kitty. And I smack him on the head. It's bad. That's a bad thing. Peter would be proud. It's life. Eric, for God's sake, knock it off. Respect my thoughts. Respect my thoughts. Because life. Eric, for God's sake, knock it off. Respect my thoughts. And soon you'll realize there's areas you didn't understand the purpose for. Wednesday. And that's when you'll learn the truth. Men have been forced underground, deemed useless by women. They are mined for the only things women still need us for. Our semen and our jokes. <laughs> well, this is the future of mankind. What? You don't need to do this! Long live our feminist overlords. Yes, yes. Jokes. <laughs> you know what? Deserves a golf clap. Well, I thought there was no stone unturned with Family Guy. Enter the lobby of South Park. That was beautiful. Made me think about all the beautiful aspects of humanity and how we really need to come together hold hands and sing along in unison to the south park theme song you were Knoxville certified hope you guys like today's video listen here at the end if you enjoy the content do me a huge favor subscribe notifications on it really, really does go a long way come on you guys know the gist at this point in time also comment down below if you're enjoying this uh, weekend series of laughs and just doing random shit to see how long it takes before i get my ass into trouble and uh comment some recommendations as well okay i'm out of here